If you've ever seen strange lights in the sky and thought it may be a UFO, well, you're not alone. News 12's Brian Donahue spent some time pouring over New Jerseyans' UFO sighting reports and also chatted with the man who tracks them. Wait, what is that? I have no idea, <laughs> babe. This is weird. What the hell is going on? Video recorded by a couple freaking out over a strange light in the sky over their Howell Township home last month. A photo taken in Manchester Township by a person with a remote wildlife camera showing what he says is a UFO landing on his neighbor's roof. Ma, this is insane. Ma, he's turning a different... Ma. And a Rawway family just a little excited about a mysterious red light above their home on August 15th. These are just a few of the reports of UFOs over the past month by New Jerseyans to the Mutual UFO Network, known as MUFON, a nonprofit UFO research organization. Frankly, I get calls virtually every day about UFOs. George Filer of Medford oversees the New Jersey chapter of MUFON. We're trying to get the information out. At least some of the UFOs belong to aliens and that, that they're here. Filer is a retired Air Force major who claims a lot of experience, even personal encounters with aliens and UFOs. This new book, Strange Craft, by John Guerra, recounts Filer's years spent tracking and reporting UFOs for the military in his role as an intelligence officer, including an oft-told story about an alien that he says was shot and killed by the military at New Jersey's McGuire Air Force Base on a February night in 1978. So I called the wing command post and they confirmed it. I called the uh, security police command post. They confirmed it. The medical team was out there to see if they could, you know, save the life of the alien, but he apparently was, was, you know, actually dead. Is and it frustrating when people don't believe you? People like me? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm holding out for more proof, but if you're with George and you believe these things are spacecraft, I won't argue. In fact, I just love to hear the stories, revel in the mystery, and wonder if maybe we're not alone in the universe after all. Is that weird or not? Yeah. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey. Oh my God. Oh stories my are fascinating. God. In all, MUFON has received 1,923 reports from New Jersey dating back to the 1990s. You gotta think a couple of them, you like, you really don't know, you don't know what, what it is, right? One of them looked like one of those lanterns that you light yeah. in the sky and let go. Exactly. That's what one of the videos looked like. Right. And the other one could be, what, a drone with a light on it? Anything like that, for sure. I'm a skeptic. Yeah. I'm, a skeptic. I'm sure the aliens put on the lights when they come to <laughs> New Jersey. ET, phone yeah, right, home, right? Exactly. Oh, All right, gosh. New Jersey Tonight continues at 6.30.